All right, we're going to try this again. Three quarters of the radio crew is here. Marcus McMorris is off getting married today, our sideline reporter. But I'm Dan Scott. This is David Cobb. That is Tom Van Hoy. We prepare for this upcoming 2021 season, starting with David. We were trying to say a moment ago that you've been here since... 2006. With the radio crew. With the radio, radio crew, graduated in 1990, so I'm, I'm an old guy. Played on the 88 National Championship team. Yeah, we were laughing at the golf tournament today about the fact that it was 35 years ago when we were all college freshmen and how the world has changed since then and how we all feel like we're about 25 years old anyway, but uh, how times really do go fast and you don't know that to experience it. Well, I am in, this fall will be my 11th season, as hard as that is to believe, uh, doing Furman football and basketball. You've been with me the entire time, as we just detailed. You have predated me back to 2006, and this will be, give the microphone to Tom, this will be Tom's fourth year? I think it's number four working with the, you guys, and you, it just I, feels like two. you asking me to come back, which in our business, you never know from year to year. So yeah, glad to be a part of it again this year, Dan. Looking forward to it. Well, Tom and I have worked together in various capacities since 2005, so... I don't know if familiarity is good or if it breeds contempt, but here, here we are. Well, for those that want to know, they can probably bring it up, the Dan Scott television show. So yeah, yeah. Where I was the paladin on that. Uh, among other things. All right, let's 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 get your thoughts, both of you, very quickly. Start with you, David. Spring 2021 didn't go as everybody hoped it would. Obviously, it was a, a very odd set of circumstances. So I guess the first thing is to be able to do this with some sense of normality it just feels right. Yeah, it's, it's August, it's hot, and it's football season. And I think Clay um, had a great comment um, earlier this week when he talked about the fact that, you know, one of the sales pitches you give to the team about playing in the spring is, well, would you rather be playing games or would you rather have to practice? And, and, and nobody wants to practice. Everybody just wants to play games. And, um, you know, this is a – I think the 2021 SoCon season is going to be one of these things where – from first to sixth or seventh, it's going to be a very thin margin of error. So it's going to be a game. Every game is going to be four or five plays make the difference in who wins the games. So a lot of excitement. Think it's possible to see a three-loss conference champion? I, I don't. I don't think you're going to have that. But I think you could have a two-loss, uh, several two-loss teams, or maybe have two or three one-loss teams. But it's going to be balanced from top to bottom. Maybe Western at the bottom, not quite there, just talent-wise. But uh, everybody else. And as Clay mentioned earlier today, was. You know, when you've got a league in which every team is returning every player, and uh, there are a couple of schools that have seven-year players and eight-year player and one eight-year player, uh, that's a lot of experience and a lot of talent spread out over the conference over the league. Tom, when you look at the strengths of this Furman team, you have to start on the defensive side of the football. It was so good in the spring. All those guys are back. Tremendous depth. Elijah McCoy comes back off of injury. You, you got to feel really, really good and excited about Dwayne Vaughn's side of the ball. Well, they can set the tone. There's no question about that. And if they can provide opportunity for the, the offense to, to get it going and to do some things. And as you mentioned, Dan, early last year, the, what they were able to do and the experience that they did get. And as David said, the chance that you got to play in the spring. And, you know, give kudos to everybody that provided the opportunity from a health standpoint. We have done some interviews. We continue to do those in the broadcast at halftime with some of the people out at Furman to give you an idea exactly what they went through just to have an opportunity to play. And you had some teams of the league that wanted to play, some that didn't want to play, some that played a little bit and decided to opt out. So you really never knew, knew from week to week what you were going to get. But as you mentioned, both of you guys talking about the way the situation is with a number of players that can come back, it's going to be incredible when you look at the experience throughout the course of the Southern Conference this year. And, and I think one of the things that's underrated about the spring season is that every one of our games, Furman showed up to play, as did the opponent. Uh, there was never a, a week where somebody questioned the effort or questioned the enthusiasm about being out there and playing. And that's a testament to the kids and the coaching and all that, but that's across the league. It's, it's important, the, the people who are playing, it's important to play, it's important to win, and it's important to compete. And that's the lessons that uh, athletics teaches you. We don't want to get too far into breaking down things because obviously we're going to hope to chat with Clay Hendricks during our Fan Fest 2021, among other, other other luminaries here. But let's get to the brass tacks. The main reason you are on this crew, you got one job, and six I do that weeks. Job very well. Six weeks, and that is finding the radio crews. Usually dinner spot, occasionally a breakfast spot. 
on the road. You've had the schedule for a number of weeks now. Give us the scouting report. Everything is uh, right where it needs to be. Uh, a lot of surprises, a little bit of uh, twists and turns, but uh, I'm thinking Chick-fil-A and, and uh, Cookville, Tennessee is going to be on out, but uh, everything should be fine. <laughs> We're good. I'm, I'm still bragging about the uh, the trip to Macon to the uh, the Soul Cafe in, in Macon that was the uh, Greg Allman uh, award-winning diner before the Mercer game. I thought that was as good a, a choice as we've had in a long time, but... Uh, a number of great places to be. And obviously the thing here in Greenville with Tommy Stevenson's retirement, uh, the Ham House is, is no longer an option. And that's going to be a, as big a void, probably the biggest loss uh, this football team's had uh, coming into the season. Yeah, the, the, the plan was to honor him during the spring season. And I think that it was going to be for the Wofford game, which obviously didn't happen. But he'll be honored during one of our five home games coming up, I may, maybe even the season opener. So. Uh, it'll be great to, to see him back. I actually saw him at practice a week or so ago, checking things out. I was going to say, Dan, one of the best things about David doing all the things he does to get us a place to, to eat is that he gets there before we do, and we just walk in and sit down. So. That's right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, first, I'm the first groupie. I'm not here. You'll you autographs. We'll give autographs. Come on, let's go. This is Fan Fest 2021. We are so happy to have you here with us. Pick up your posters, come down the line, get your autographs. Don't and forget us at the end of the table. Free autographs. Which immediately devalues the poster. So let's keep that in mind. 